What's up, spectators? Welcome back to another episode of Professor Layton and the Curious Village. Last time, we did some errands. We did an errand for Gerard because he lost his watch and he wouldn't let us pass to get to the cafe, but we want to go to the cafe to get more information about the case. So, I mean, none of these guys are Ramon, though. Oh, fancy meeting you here. I got a doozy of a puzzle right now. It's harder to crack than a coconut. And who knows, it might even have something to do with the case you're investigating right now. So what do you say? Help a fellow detective out, will ya, brother? My brother? That's all very interesting, but I do believe there's been a mistake here. I'm no detective, you see. Say no more, undercover and all that then, yes? Very well, but I know a fellow sleuth when I see one. Us being in the same trade and all, I suppose it couldn't hurt if I let you have a look at this puzzle. Number 51. The town barbers. Only 10 points. Uh, a certain town has only two barbers in it. There aren't any other towns nearby, so everyone who lives there gets their hair cut by one of these two stylists. Looking at these two fine gentlemen, which one should you go to for a haircut? Now, what is the trick here? Oh, I get it. This is an easy trick. You'd think you'd go for B, but the thing is, there are only two barbers, so one barber has to cut the hair of the other barber. Therefore, you go for A with the scraggly hair because he cuts B's hair, which is far nicer than A. <laughs> you thought you had me? How does this sound? Professor, I've solved it! That's right. Everyone in the village gets their hair cut by one of these two barbers. This includes the two barbers themselves. Because people don't usually cut their own hair, the stylist with the butch butchered haircut is probably the more skilled of the two. Ho ho, you've done it! You've solved that monster of a riddle. Simply astounding. Even I couldn't do- Really? Oh, it wasn't that difficult. But on a more important subject, have you heard word from Ramon lately? What's that you say, good sir? You want to solve more puzzles? All right, then here's a gem of a tip. Go visit Granny Riddleton's shack. That's all I can say. My detective's instinct tells me that another case is developing as we speak. I must take my leave now, but perhaps I'll see you again tomorrow. Oh there! I've never seen your mug in here before. What'll it be, pal? A white Russian. Oh, I'm not ordering anything. I actually just came by to inquire about a certain matter. Not here for the special then, man. Well, what do you want to know? No one has seen or heard from Ramon, the servant of at Reinhold Manor since this afternoon. We've looked about everywhere to no avail. It's like he just vanished from St. Mystiere. While talking with Crouton earlier, he mentioned a strange old man who is said to lurk around the village. Do you perchance know anything about such an individual? An old man? Oh right, that old rumor. So you've heard of him before. If you have any information, anything at all, please share it with us. Hmm... You're not from here, are you? Thing is, I can't have you spreading crazy rumors about Saint Mystere out to the outside world now, can I? Of course, if you're a puzzle lover, then maybe, just maybe, I can find it in me to trust you. See, if you want people here to trust you, you need to get your hands dirty and solve more puzzles. Come and see me again when you've solved at least 30. You know how this works. You can see how many puzzles you've solved at the top of your map. 30, huh? All right, so I need three. Why don't we go to Granny Riddleton's shack? Thankfully, it's only three. But I don't remember where her shack is. Is this... There seems to be a puzzle embedded in this door. I could have sworn there was nothing there a minute ago. Fascinating! This puzzle appears to be acting as some sort of lock for this door. How delightful. Luke, my boy, why don't you give this puzzle a try? I'm almost certain the door will open if you solve it. They're actually lockpicking. Lockpicking is just another puzzle, you see, Luke. 
Oh god, it's one of these again! Can you get the red ball out of the maze? Slide obstructing blocks. I don't care about how few it's done in. This is one where I use up like 30 turns. Alright, oh, I got a hair on my screen, hold on, okay. Let's see here. That's not gonna do anything, why don't we do this? And that, and this, and slide, and move, and slide, and move, and you do that. Maybe do some of this. Maybe slide some of these around. <laughs> How does this sound? Of course I did it in uh double Professor, I've sold the it. puzzle par, I guess you can say. With all those blocks in the way, getting your ball to the goal was harder than you expected, wasn't it? No. It's about exactly what I expected. In fact, it was easier. Very nice. The door should open right up now. Of course, when they start getting a lot harder, see it's get the ball out one. This is gonna be like get the ball out three. And that's when I'm gonna really struggle. Ah, this is her shack. Why, howdy! Do you often find yourself hopelessly, achingly, painfully stuck on puzzles? Well then, Sonny, you've come to the right place. Welcome to Granny Riddleton's Puzzle Shack. Mr. Megorium's Wonder Emporium. Granny Riddleton? Where can we find this lady? Isn't it obvious? She's right in front of you, boy! No wonder you have trouble solving puzzles. Yes, you are gazing at the beautiful and clairvoyant Granny Riddleton. Guide to the puzzle puzzlers. Mm. I almost said puzzlers. Beautiful and clairvoyant. <laughs> beautiful and clairvoyant. Professor, do you know what she's going on? Do you know what this ugly non-clairvoyant woman is talking about? Fret not, Luke. Why don't you let me do the talking here? Sorry to disturb you, Miss Riddleton, but... By clairvoyant, do you mean to say that you have psychic powers? Can you do things like, say, pick a criminal out of a crowd or visualize the location of lost objects? Pshaw! Any fortune teller can do that. So what if you can see a few days into the future? You can win the lottery, that's what you can do. Big whoop! You could prevent a murder. My specialty, you see, is puzzles. Worst power ever. Puzzles people forget about? Puzzles people miss? Surely you boys have had a few of those, eh? No need to turn red. It happens to the best of puzzlers. What I do, you see, is I take those poor little lost little puzzles and invite them to come stay with me. Wow, so those puzzles that we tried but weren't able to solve, those puzzles are here now. Yeah, but puzzles won't keep you warm at night. It looks like you finally figured out what makes me so amazing, boy. Now go ahead and give a knock on the door of that little shack behind me. Inside you'll find rows of cute little jars, each one of them stuffed with a forgotten puzzle. I bet you can find those lost puzzles of yours somewhere in the midst of all my pretties. Hmm, are you really allowed to build a house in a house? There's, there's fire smoke coming out from the, it's, there's no ventilation. Uh -huh. ma, ma. Okay, why don't we just go with, in a... Ascending order. Triangles and ink, number 16. Here are two shapes. Oh, it's gonna be one of those how many triangles are there, probably. Two shapes, one large and one small. Two shapes. Oh, I see. Dipping your fountain pen into the ink one time gives you just enough ink to draw four little triangles. So with that in mind, how many times do you have to dip your pen in the ink in order to draw the shape on the right? That's made up of 36 triangles. Uh... Hmm. Let me, hold on, I gotta... One time, just enough to draw four little triangles. Okay, I, I mean, that the diagram is actually very useful for this. How many times? Okay, so there are 36. So in one dip, hmm, does this account for overlap? No, you wouldn't want overlap. Let me think here. The 
one dip. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? Is it nine? Hold on. It's never what I first think it is. It's 40 picarats, it's not nine. But why is it not? I'll, I'll, I'll try inputting it, but hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many times must I dip my pen in the ink? I'll try nine, but I don't think it's gonna be right. There we go. Frankly, I'm ashamed. Hmm. Enough ink to draw four little... Oh, see? Okay. And the shape on the right, that's made up of 36... Draw four. Okay. So, the, you don't have... It's not a condition to have to make one triangle, one large triangle at a time. You only want to do... So that means you can draw four little ones. That's the key key phrase right there. You can draw four small triangles. But the thing is, by drawing the outer triangles, one, two, and four, you already end up creating three. There's no... Hmm. So that means one dip can make a triangle and a quarter. So it'd be something like... Something like a... Uh, hold on a second. Let me think. Uh, am I really going to have to draw these out? I guess it's not really hard to do. One, two, three, four. This would be great to have some other colors. Four. Uh, one, two. This is right, right? Let me see. I'm moving down the triangle. One, two. Uh, three. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. I don't like that I ended it on a one. That can't be right. Let me see. So that's one, two, three. This is hideous. Four, five, six. There we go. Oh, how embarrassing. Wait, what did I do wrong? Hold on. Ah, uh, hurry up! One, two, three. What did I do wrong? Let's see. So if I exclude all the middle ones, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And to make a triangle, it takes three small triangles. So that's seven large triangles. So, seven, that, I feel like six is a better answer. You'll still have enough ink to do something else. This can't be, I don't know. That should do it. All right, hold Another on. Another puzzle solved. Oh, give me the explanation. Your first impulse might have been to divide the 36 by 4. Yep, I did that. 
but a closer look shows that each four triangle cluster is actually formed from three triangles, yes? When you apply this way of thinking to the larger shape, you end up with the answer pictured above. Huh. Ah. Uh, hmm. Maybe I just... I understood most of it, but maybe I just... Hmm. I don't know. Alright, one more puzzle. Five card shuffle. Three of the four images shown below are the exact same picture rotated in a variety of ways. Can you find the odd one out? Okay, let's see. Diamond clubs. Let's start with something easy. Yeah, like diamond clubs. Diamond. 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 Diamond and clubs on top of the spades. So I already found one discrepancy. Up, oh, got it. That was easy. That was easy. It's D. Look at the. Oh, I can't draw. Okay. Well, look at D, and you'll see that the diamond, the yeah, the diamond, the clubs is wrong. God, I hope I'm right. How does this sound? Yeah, that's what I thought. I did it. Yes. All right, that's that's all the puzzles I needed. Let's get out of here and head back to the cafe. Peace. Well, look what the cat dragged in. So let's see how many puzzles you've solved while you were out. Whoa, I see you saw 30 puzzles. Do I have like a passport with the puzzles I've solved? It's like a visa. All right then, here's an earful for you. I know a fellow who swears up and down that he saw strange old geezers skittering about town. The fellow I know is Prosciutto. He's a wee one, but he's got the appetite of a wolverine. Do you know where we might find this Prosciutto? Can't say for sure. But at this hour, well, he's probably at home snacking on something. His house is on the road that winds up north from here. Why don't you go and pay that walking icebox a visit? Icebox? Because he's cold? I don't understand. Alright, winding road to the north, alright. This way? And then... no. Oh! I can't sleep because of this stupid puzzle. I've been tossing and turning for hours. I'm gonna lose it for real this time if I don't figure it out. All right, I guess we're just doing the puzzle. 52, find a star. Hope it's not finding another tree. A star, the same shape and, oh God, look at that bottom image, oh dear. A star, the same shape and size as the one shown on the picture on the right is hidden somewhere in this picture. Oh my gosh, same shape and size. All right. Let me see, let me see, I'm looking. It could be rotated, so let's... Oh, wait, 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 is this it? Maybe, maybe, maybe it is, I go, yep, that it, go! How does this sound? Yeah! Yeah! I did it! Yes! Lucky? Hey! Why'd you have to go and tell me the answer? I've been thinking up an answer for days now, and you just go and ruin it. Thanks a lot, you jerk! Okay... Where is it I'm going? Oh! Prosciutto might be eating prosciutto. What do you want? Start jawing so I can get back to dinner. I heard from a fellow at the cafe that you witnessed a strange old man prowling about town. 
Could I ask you for a more detailed account of what you saw? Okay. Chomp om nom nom. I think it was something like four days ago. Oh god. I was on my way home from the market when I saw this creepy guy sneaking around. So I took a closer look, right? I wanted to make sure he didn't clean out the butcher before I got there. Up close, it was some spooky old guy with a huge gobble snarf sack. I yelled at him, but the geezer just bolted. I was all like, man, look at Gramps, bust a move. Bust a move. I think that weirdo is the one who's been kidnapping people. If you gotta be out at night, watch yourself, you her? Interesting. Okay, so now what? Oh gosh, sorry, Professor. It's not that the investigation is boring me or anything. I'm just a little sleepy. It's gotten late. Let's report our findings to everyone at the mansion and wrap things up for the day. Professor, look over there! Oh my gosh! Is that Ramon? <gasps> oh, oh. Luke! Hmm? Sir, huh? hold it there! Right behind you! <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> oh, 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 my word. That must be one hell of a power bill. What kind of light switch just turns on that many lights? We've lost them. Luke, you saw that too, didn't you? No doubt about it, that was Ramon. Does that mean that the kidnapper killed Ramon too? Steady there, Luke. I think we do well to return to the site of Ramon's abduction. The kidnapper may have left a clue behind, you see? Right, lead on, Professor. And with that, let's end this video here. So stay tuned for the next one, and thanks for watching. Bye bye